start now. Fuel Depot, we can get an angle onto the, onto the screen. Yeah, we have Fuel Depot coming up right now. Um, with Afterlife Force in this map and Reese in the open, it's dangerous. I want to see Reese in his pistol. If you actually see the way he holds it, he actually holds it extremely odd way too, just like Jack. They're two very unique players combined. It's just insane. That's the kind of level you have to go to at this stage of a game when you want to be the best. Yeah, you do have to make things that make your team unique compared to others to give you a significant advantage in any way possible. And there's the host pistol I'm talking about from Reese. I'm not kidding. I was telling you, it's Medusa. You look at him and you just die. You don't want that guy in an open map on host fuel depot and grid. You want to avoid him as much as possible. And believe it or not, when Reese was actually pistoling right there, you uh. would actually think that he somebody was team firing. No, that was actually all Reese that fast, just taking his head off. So, Joe, what do you think that? Flubex needs to do right now to get control of this map. Like, if you were running something right now to get control of this game, what would you do seeing how Afterlife's playing? But whatever you need to do is avoid Reese's pistol. You can't be rushing into him. Like, the game controller boom shot, got it with it. Tied to Twink, like, it was, just, it was only a short distance to the run, but even that head off in seconds. I think maybe good use of smoke to cut off Reese and trying to control the boom shot would be a huge play right yeah, now. So definitely. I agree completely with what you said. Reese is down, by the way. Reese is down and Reese is dead, so that is a huge play for Club X. It is a 2v2 right now. All off host players. I don't see a sniper in the hands of Afterlife. Looks like and they're I'm pretty sure there the is one in the hands of Club X, though. Boom shot spawns up soon. There is a sniper in the spawn of Club X right now, and they can control this entire map and the new boom shot, which spawns in about, I would say, almost 20 seconds. They used this boom shot. Oh, it should be used. It's a guaranteed kill. Inferno just trying to play smart right now. Using this boom effectively is key. Oh, that is how he used the boom, waiting a long time to make sure it paid off. 2v1 right now in favor of Club X. Going huge right now, trying to take motivation of this game and take it away. He's going to the jump up. He's on the back right side box on the inside right now. Don't know. He just jumped up, so he is get, trying to get away. They are going to get control of this new boom shot right now. Use the boom shots. This round's Anything over. Anything is possible right now. Boom wasted. Got That's it. not a down though, because everybody would be screaming. Can't be wasting another. Oh, he's wasting them both. Both booms wasted right now. How clutch is he right now? Let's see it. Two v one. Going for it, definitely. Oh, uh -oh. there it is. There's the first one. Stabizi, huge with his shotgun. Really trying to go big right now. Bass. One of the biggest players for Club X really trying to keep his team motivated and take this round. What is going to happen right now? I don't even know, to be honest. Anything can happen right now. If he pushes Baz's back shots, he's going to get destroyed. If Stabizi could take a 1v2 right now, this would be huge for motivation for Afterlife right now. It is a standoff, though. The question is, is who's going to push? And if they do push, will they push the left hand or the right hand? Not a nice angle right now, to be honest. It's been so long, but Baz. <laughs> oh, oh my god, oh my he shot god. her! Tap that there in, but boy, Zoom yeah, is going to be see crazy it. right now. Look at the this camera. Time. He's not <laughs> giving up. You don't see this on main stage often, boys and girls. What's going to happen? Oh, Baz! Going huge right there! <laughs> nah, give it up right there, boy. Mike stepping you up right that there. That was yeah. insane. Quicker fingers there, Mike. Good job. Nice job, Mike. <laughs> All fun and games there, but it's something they may to regret after life. Yeah. They both still played well, though. I mean, they dodged a couple shots from each other with some SP pretty expressive did it space. Extremely well, though. Yeah. Everybody knows SP and Technico to be two huge shotgun players. A lot of people think they're online players, but to be honest, if you have a solid shotgun and you hit your shots on land, you're going to be effective. Yeah, no doubt. Like, it's so strong. But not like the Gears 2 one where L triggering uh, pretty much disintegrates you from anywhere across the map. I never played that game, and I never want to see it again. So, yeah. Oh, Jack killed by yeah, a huge shouting, I'm dead. 
Club X is really trying to make plays now. And another kill from Club X going big right there. That was Jack, I believe, is McSteve. Well, he's not used that boom shot very well. And we're down, so at least now he's got a 3v2. Yeah, it is a 2v3 for Afterlife right now. Oh, that's fun. But this they are getting Reese. focus fired right now from pretty much everywhere. Oh. He downed one, he downed one. One's down right now, one's down right now. Can he get to the kill? Can he go to the kill right now? It's gonna, he's gonna get revived, it's gonna be a 2v1. Questionable decision right there by Technical why he didn't go for the kill. I think Technical thought that the rest of his teammates were dead, so he did try to get out of there. Ah, uh, okay. Huh? He didn't yeah. realize he was down. I don't think he probably didn't realize he was down. Technical losing that right there. If he was closer to this teammate though, anything would have been possible and he could have went and got that kill and make it a 1v1. So 2-0 up of host right now and um, I think it's Club X back on the good spawn. So they're going to have the advantage of getting the boom shot. Could yeah. easily make it a 3-0. Yeah. It's really good for Club X right now. Then again though, it is going to be Afterlife on the, the host again if comeback. they can beat them on Field Depot. Map's not over though. We've seen 3-0 comes back before. Club X perfect example. I it could we, happen again. We both want to see 1-1 one -one, if I'm being honest, Joe. Everyone wants to see one machine mansion and gridlock. To be honest, these are just, you know, buffer maps at the end of the day. Round, maps. If this, if this game right now went to final round, final map, I wouldn't be happier. That would be absolutely intense, and that's just how Gears of War is played. Yep. So maps on Gears 3, are we going to see that kind of close combat action on Gears 3 as we do on Gears 1? So far, I don't know. I mean, to be honest, if the power weapon placements, you know, if you can control it, like you can pick where the weapons spawn, then just like Mansion, look how big Mansion is. But we all find the smallest spot because we all want that boom shot. Exactly. So, I mean, as long as you can move around the power weapons, then it, it would be really good for Gal 3. I've never seen a game that can incorporate so many strats for such a small area of a map. Gears Mansion evolved over a course of three years. Prophecy strats, Infinity strats, oh, MOB dude. strats. I'm telling you, that, that map was insane. Then you could, I mean, it was such a we, small map. When we go to Mansion at this tournament, I mean, you got Focus, who's got great team fire. I mean, not going to include anything about my team, but Takedown, Club X, Afterlife, all really good players on Mansion, all the teams. And then you have other teams right now. Oh, oh, oh my Mercy. god, Inferno going huge it. right Reaction's there. It's not going to be impressed now. You gotta be careful challenging sniper to sniper. You gotta be careful with that. I mean, from experience playing playing Infernal, he, he plays way more position than flashy snipes. He's a smart player with a sniper. Oh, definitely. His reaction seems to be way more aggressive with it. Not necessarily a bad thing, but obviously. He did talent technical right sometimes. there as well. Afterlife is in huge trouble right now. They need to make a comeback and reorganize as a team and get that motivation back that they had in that first game. So now we see a we have a team one kill there, right there. Jack got killed from that boom shot. It's either a two v no, the map's over right there for that round now. at least. It's 3-0. Club X getting extremely hyped right now. The motivation is by far on their side. Jack smiling. Uh, maybe Jack. We might see a bit more Jack crooks in the game. The motivation is on Club X's side, but all Afterlife has to do is take one round and then keep going. Called classic trash talk from a, a ex romance player. We have a nice romance player play with us right now, Joe B as well, also known for his trash talk. Joe B, great player, played him at ECL once, so it's definitely fun still playing the game. I expect to see him in Winners Back in Finals, by the way, my friend. So it'll be fun. Looking forward to that. Well, not Rematch. Winners Back in Finals, I'm sorry, semifinals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd like to think uh, I wouldn't be on the end of a, a romping defeat this time, though. Well, hey, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I don't want to get out of myself. I do have another match anyway before we even get there, so I got to go round by round with that first anyway. Right there, though, another round for Afterlife. Afterlife just trying to get back in the zone right now and just creep right back into this game to he make a well comeback. He did well to ride out and win, that back, uh, win the round back because Club X went an absolute storm. But they yeah. dragged it back in. It happened on now, so you never know if it could happen again. Yeah. I mean, right now, everyone go huge to BZ, double kill right there on screen. Triple. Going huge to BZ right there. We do have a 4v1 in favor of Afterlife. They are right back in this game, and there it is, folks. It's going to get really crazy from here on out. The way Afterlife is in the place, I can't see him clutching a 4v1, and it's not going to happen. People just play too smart now. The way the game just shifts from one like one team on such a high and then, and that's, then just completely swings and just that's, one shotgun fight. That's all Gears 1. It's all Gears 1. you got to take your motivation and live off of it. And for one second, you stop. The other team could just come right back. 
Stabizi throwing huge figures off almost there. That's what I'm saying. Stabizi and Technical, they're the shotgun players. You got Reese, the crazy host player. And then you have Reaction, one of the most clutch players and advanced movement players in the league who can use power weapons as well. So, Afterlife with that lineup, that is trying really hard to compete with Club X, which is an on four land experience team right now. First grenade a little odd, don't think that's going to go anywhere, but the second one was pretty good. He was going for the guy on the jump up. Be interesting to see what Afterlife do with the boom shot. Oh, definitely. Boom shot control is very important. Oh, Crooks is they down. did lose. They oh, they're doing an outside push right now. Outside push, they're going to control the right side of the helipad right now. And Club X has to regroup and accept losing a player. I believe Infernal's down somewhere with a snipe. He's going to try and keep the shot. Possibly. I didn't even see that yet, Joe. So if that is true, that's a nice catch. <laughs> Oh, Dud Boom. Sponging a boom shot. Dud Booms, they don't happen off the boom, and they do. It hurts. No one likes a Dud Boom. Oh, yeah. I'll take that. After I've just made that call out, they do have one more boom shot. They're down the hole, so I believe the Club X did get it down right now, but they need to keep capitalizing on it. There is a guy who Great might go little. down the truck. Can he go down? He got stuck trying to get oh. out. Infernal's Inferno picked up getting the kill. a kill. Oh, Inferno! What a crazy headshot right there, and Afterlife is pushed back. They're gonna get the new boom shot, but they need to regroup. It is only a 2v3 right now. Infernal, he's died, but he's done his job more than his job. He's yeah, reaction really trying to close this game back up. It's a 2v2. Club X in, with, in okay. with the boom shot right now. And Afterlife just trying to stay alive and try to down the boom shot or stun him with nades or anything in any way possible. It's gonna be hard to make a push though, because Reaction does have to snipe, so... Reaction does have careful. snipe, and they didn't underestimate him one time on Canals. Doing it again would be foolish. The crowd getting quite big right now, that's what I'm talking about, so... Gears of War going huge right now. On view with Reaction, see what he can do. Reaction just hanging out on the helipad. It's just a waiting game for the boom respawn. Really wondering how this could turn out right now. To be honest, it might go to a draw because if Club X is trying to kill the momentum from Afterlife, you may see it. But then again, it's going to be hard to push a, a reaction with a snipe. And with Club X not knowing how many bullets he has left, you just <coughs> never know. There's no way they're going to go for the boom spawn until they're certain he's got no snipes left. <coughs> the boom Reaction's spawn must be due. Reaction trying to get an angle right now. Club X playing very smart though, not giving any show of where they are right now. Afterlife has to rely on those cameras and those callouts. Now ECL1, we weren't able to use the cameras that much. Are we able to fully cycle through the cameras this event out of curiosity? Yeah, indeed we are. We are. Exactly like MLG rules, yeah. Very nice, very nice. Well, not exactly like MLG rules. To be honest, your rules are a little bit better. What was different? I can't remember. Oh, uh, the difference was, I don't know if you remember, when you had to go to MLG, you weren't able to host that last map no matter what. In this league, oh, sorry, the, overall the rules, way we yeah. play by rounds, it gives the amateur a team ch a chance I, I to make a comeback on <coughs> any pro team. I think that's, that's how it should be, round count. No, to be honest, I love the rules here, and the gameplay, the way it plays out, is absolutely fantastic. Exactly, that's yeah. why I'm back again from the U.S. We can't really Last say anything this map. This is gonna be interesting. 20 22 seconds to go. Seconds. Last guy's there. Camping all the way in the back right now. He's just hoping that timer runs out. Not the best position, I have to say. <laughs> He's round the corner. Can't try close. Oh, oh technical! Can he get the other one? We're just gonna run away. Three seconds left. What's gonna happen? We don't even have an angle right now. Does he get the kill? No, I couldn't even no, tell. No. I think it drawed out. I'm pretty sure that drawed out right there. I couldn't even see it. He did get the kill. He did get the wow. kill. Baz going huge with two seconds left in the game. Nice play by Baz. We one, couldn't even one. see that.